Food's here. Lunch was nice. How was lunch? Good. <laughs> yeah, um, lunch was quite good actually. Um, we ordered the spaghetti with clams and then the veil, which is um, 13 and then 12. And then um, two extra drink Sprite is 3 euros and the blueberry juice is 3.5. So in total, we paid 31.5 euro, which is surprisingly reasonable. But like for two people, around 16 euro each. So yeah, well, 16 euro, about 20 bucks Australian dollars. Not too bad, actually. And the quality of the food was like, I really enjoy the clams and spaghetti. Oh my god, it's just like, just enough. The sauce, the, the, the clam itself, and the, this pasta was like al dente. Wow, so, but right now, I ate too much, like you can tell my face is floating up. Right now we are walking back to our place and maybe like take an afternoon nap because of the food and stuff and yeah. And then continue to explore the city in the evening. Good afternoon everyone, as you can see I have changed up a bit and so has she and right now we are walking into the Grand Canal Bridge again because earlier this morning we did take some pictures but it was not that good and she really wants to take another photo and because different lighting and everything so after that we go to the colorful houses which I have no idea where they are so we're going to trust Google GPS again. There you go. So instead of going somewhere else, we decided to come here for dinner, Burger King. Look at this gigantic drink. Speakers on my head. Um, we all, I order um, fish burger and some onion rings in here and a dipping sauce. It costs 6.95 euros. And my cousin, she orders like um, a chicken burger. So we're going to have some right now and maybe continue exploring the city next. I'm not sure people are looking at me because I'm vlogging or because I'm holding this gigantic cup. Anyway, our next destination was going to be uh, Brunan, uh, Burano, you know, the colorful houses in that island. But unfortunately, it takes an hour to get there and currently it is 6.30. By the time we get there, the sun would be setting and then like we got to spend like what, 10 or 15 minutes just to take some photo and then walking around and then take an hour back to um, um, San Marco. I think it's a waste of time honestly and my cousin was like no but we're here. It's just colorful houses. Honestly it's not worth the time for two hours but right now we're just exploring the nearby islands and like take some photos and see how it goes for tonight. Uh, the Burger King was really nice. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> Yeah. 
how romantic this is like watching sunset on a pier and like watching people riding the boats and everything but this is not my sit guy it's not appropriate with my cousin <laughs> but anyway right now we're just gonna like wait here and like have a look at the nature the water just like sitting here waiting for the sun to set <laughs> actually over here it's so peaceful I just don't want to leave like I mean like this part of the Venice over there it is so crowded with tourists and like locals well not so much of the locals but you know what I mean like short um, lost tourists we just walking along the canal at the moment I have no idea where we are I think up like opposite side of the um, San Marcos like on the west or on the east I think on the east side um, this part of the city it's the, the, the streets are wider less people and more beautiful more colorful um, houses as well look so it does take time to explore but I do encourage you guys to like walk around as long as you have company and Google Map, that will do. Even though it doesn't show on this camera because the lighting in the video is so perfect, the sun is setting at the moment. And this is a really nice place for you guys to take photos. Like you got like, a lot of bridges over here and the sun set directly on the other end of the canal. So we are walking towards the open sea right now. And I'm quite happy with the choice that we made that did not go to the Burano, rather we just explored the other side of Venice. Cause guy, this the light hits here is so beautiful. Look at the craftsmanship of each statue. Like the carving is magnificent. Wow. Guys, honestly, we don't know where we are going. We just followed the piers and now we are like in a deep, narrow alley. We'll see how it goes. It's only 8 p.m. so far. Did you see those brats over there? They are made to be like faces. It's quite funny. <laughs> And we are back to the plaza of San Marco, just on the other side of course. And currently it is 8.30 so it's getting darker and darker but we are heading back to our place to get some rest and yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? They just turned on the entire place with lights. 
parked in here. It looks so beautiful. Just in time when I hit record. Oh, my hair is so messy. Anyway, 8.45, we call it a day. We come back home and get an early night's sleep. Tomorrow, we are flying to Paris. Yay! To meet my aunt, to meet our aunt. And um, we have a layover in Antwerp for like three hours. So we're not sure whether to like get out and do like a, you know, a lightning round in Hamburg or just, you know, just to stay in the transit lounge. And today has been more or less successful because uh, we actually um, do a lot of stuff. We went to the parlors, we went to have a look at the plaza of San Marco and my cousin just turned on the AC at the moment so it's a bit noisy. Um, the reason that we didn't do the boat ride because um, A, it costs very much and B, we don't want to ruin our experience in Venice so far. It's been amazing, it's been good, the food's good, no one got sick, uh, we did not get ripped off and the hotel is really, the, the guest house is really nice and also like we get to do a lot of photo shoots so that's really nice so we don't want to ruin it because from our experience we saw a lot of them and we read the review as well like more half of the time the gondola the gondola or the gondolier they do you know they don't pay as much attention as we customer would love them to be to do and also like I saw them most some of them are smoking during you know the ride some of them are on the phone and we, if you are lucky guys some of them even sing to you if you come here as a couple on a romantic ride I suggest you do it if you come here with like a family of four or five I suggest you do it but like us you know relative or like friends like two or three of us it's not worth it it's just like literally just boat ride along the canal we could do that by like you know hire a taxi like for like 10 minutes or something it costs less and you get to see around a little bit and also we just walk you know walk like us we were walking like literally like an hour or so and just along the canal as well and we get to take photos as well which is really nice um we were thinking like whether just to hire for like five minutes the boat to like take a photo rather than a ride and yeah so that's it for today thank you very much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it and yeah don't forget to check out my other vlog in egypt cambodia indonesia thailand japan south korea and other europe city as well which i just did and i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good day